hey guys welcome back to another new video so in this video i will be showing you how you can install custom rom on your huawei mediabed t5 device uh, in my previous videos i have already shown on how can you uh, unlock the bootloader and also how can you install the uh, twrp so if you didn't watch that video please watch that those video and download the resources and install the driver so those things need for this this uh, this tutorial also so as you can see i'm running uh, android 8 on this device so it's come with android 8 and there is no update for this device so and also this device is quite laggy and so um, before proceeding to the tutorial please do it your own risk and it may break your device so there is only one working rom right now i have installed several rom and bricked my device and i have to install the stock rom again and again so it's quite frustrating actually there is only few roms available so only one of them is working properly right now so what you have to do is that first of all you have to turn off your device and put into require mode so as i'm doing Uh, also be mindful about the charge of your battery if you feel battery uh, don't have enough charge it may break your device so be mindful about that too so the rom i'm using it's a uh, lineage os 16 and it's running on android 9 and you will get the, the link of the rom in the description below and also about our, our previous videos As you can see it's booted on the twrp and first of all um, for reduce reducing the risk you can take an android backup so first of all to take an android backup you you have to format the disk first otherwise it will not uh, uh, backup the data and other things it will fail so after formatting then just go to backup and seal out all the all these because we don't know what what you're going to need so select all and select your storage as i have uh, done it already in my micro sd card so in future if i break my device i can restore from my uh, micro sd card after that just the installation process is quite easy just go to the wipe first then yes type yes and format the data and everything as you can see then go back then advanced wipe just click this thing internal data internal storage system and swipe so it will erase your system now you don't have any system in your phone now you have to go back and you have to look at your uh, file so you have to uh, put your file either in micro sd card or you can use usb otg drive i i have put my SD, uh, image file in the sd card so as you can see lineage uh, 16 and this this comes with gf so you don't need to have about, worry about gfs or installing gfs then just select the raw, uh, file and flash it as a system image. It may take uh, one minute or two. So I have done it before also so and the ROM working fine. There are some issues and also there are uh, fix of those uh, issues so I'll uh, cover those issues and show them how you can fix those issues too as you can see it's already completed it didn't take much time only uh, one minute I think then go back go back go back then go to wipe again format data and yes just format the data again then go back go back then go to wipe just wipe do a factory reset and back back and go to reboot reboot to system if the rom flashed uh, properly it will directly boot into the rom if didn't then it will uh, crush the phone then you have to install the stock rom or you can if you have the an android backup you can uh, restore the backup so it's very necessary to keep an android backup in, in, in case if you break your device 
as you can see i didn't break, break my device because i have experience how you how to do this thing because i have done it so many times right now on this device in the first boot it will take little bit time about two or three minutes so no need to worry about that and the issue of this ROM is there is some issue with the display the, the display is uh, sometimes little blurry so there is one fix for that and another issue is about the speaker sometimes speaker uh, go quiet then you have to re uh, reboot your uh, tablet then it will work fine so for the display there is some setting which you have to change then it will work fine also in this rom you can extend your uh, internal storage so there is option how you can uh, extend the internal storage uh, adding your sd card and in emui there is no way to do that so there's also one uh, actually option which will give you much more room to install your software and other things so that's also actually great thing also this rom is quite snappy because it, it's a stock rom there is no bloat or nothing else so it's quite a snappy rom but because this is a custom ROM, you can't say anything about that. So there may be some issue can develop in this ROM, which I didn't notice. If you notice something which is uh, um, not going well, just comment below. Uh, I will try my best to find a solution for that. Also, if you have any other ROM which is working on this ROM, a GIST device, you can comment below and I will check it. Because I don't have any more ROM for this device. The, the, the ROM is working right now is this ROM Lineage OS and it has vanilla version and GFs version. You can flush whatever you want. I will um, uh, keep the both link in the description below. You can check there. Also, if you're liking my videos, please do do a subscribe. It will help me to grow. And as you can see, it's booted up. And now all you have to do is just finish the setup process skip then just connect with wi-fi i don't know you can see or not this display is quite blurry right now in some point not every time in some point the display is quite blurry so you have to fix that too now the display is blurry but that's not a big deal actually but anyway that is also one problem As you can see, it's finished the setup process, and you can see your home screen. And this is whatever. So you have uh, your Wi-Fi is working, and if you go to the Bluetooth and pair new device, you can you can see it will scan the devices, and you can check it. The Bluetooth is also working properly. Wi-Fi also working properly, and also connect to the five gigahertz network. So there is no issue with that. Let me show you which. Five gigahertz Wi-Fi working or not? It's me. Yeah, as you can see, the five gigahertz Wi-Fi is working in this ROM. So it's running on Android nine. And to fix the display issue, as I said, just
just go to the your uh, developer option and here is, you can see developer option and just go developer option and just turn on one option and also if you if you turn on this option and if you reboot your device you have to do it again because it's not stay so if you reboot you just come back to here and just re uh, do this option again check the option and it will work fine as you can see the display is now looking as stock wrong as the resolution is also same and everything is working fine and the battery backup is quite good on this rom better than an uh, emui also the storage is little bit more free than the old one also you can what you can also extend the internal storage using a usd card As you can see it's working fine even camera and other things everything working fine so that's it for today hopefully you like this video if you like this video please do subscribe and thank you very much for watching see you next time